Well, the battle pass for Season 3 has leaked out, along with a lot of extra customization for a lot of weapons and vehicles for Season 3, so I thought I'd dive in and talk about it because it looks rather different from what you would expect from a Halo game. So if you guys like these discussion type of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out this video and channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything happening with Halo Infinite for Season 3, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to know about the customization for Season 3 and the battle pass, we'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. While at HCS Charlotte this last weekend, a lot of players were able to play a lot of early content for Season 3, mainly the maps and the weapons and things like that. But one thing a lot of people were actually allowed to record was, well, a lot of the customization coming in with the game, and it's wild. Thanks to today's sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM are a team of artists and creators who share a common vision. They see clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. Since 2012, they've developed premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unparalleled comfort for wherever your passions take you. Into the AM recently sent me some apparel to check out and honestly guys, I'm really enjoying this stuff. I like the art style they put on the shirts and I also got some cool joggers that go with it that fit me really well. If you're not into all the crazy styles, don't worry, they have some simple tees for you as well. They fit great, they feel great, and I genuinely do enjoy their products. If you use my code KevinCollects, you receive an additional 10% off of your purchase. Plus, I get a little kickback and help support the channel as well. Into the AM has been a long time sponsor of the channel, and I genuinely do enjoy their products a lot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you much Into the AM for sponsoring the video. So let's get right back into those details. We already saw this on display with the official season three trailer with the Chimera slash firewall core, that's the fracture core for season three, looking just like something you would not expect from a Halo game. So what I'll do throughout this video is just have like what, what was recorded playing on screen for you guys. I'm not gonna pick out each thing individually. If you wanna take a better look at something, just pause the video. Now most of the customization that was revealed was mainly coatings, different types of colors and patterns you can put on your weapons, your vehicles, and things like that. Well with season three, that's going to completely change as before it was mainly just colors you could customize and buy other coatings. Well this season they're actually adding like patterns and different types of patterns within the game. I pointed this out within my season three trailer breakdown if you guys want to check out that video i'll link it at the end of this one but for example with the spartans your undersuit will actually change colors now with some coatings this is actually a really cool feature i'm looking forward to i feel like it's been an unused opportunity for a lot of the customization options we could possibly do within halo infinite i know how badly people wanted black undersuits when it comes to their next halo game and they got that for the first year but you know a lot of people like colored undersuits and i think there's an opportunity there for that type of customization to come through. And I feel like this kind of customization kind of leads into what we've seen previously from 343 and for the Halo franchise is that it really just stray away from what looks good in Halo, in my opinion, and kind of creates more unique kind of 343 styled stuff. This is one of the biggest complaints that was addressed with Halo Infinite over the last few years with 343 running the customization is that it's a little too outlandish, a little too sci-fi. It just doesn't really feel like a sci-fi military type of game. It just seems like a sci-fi action adventure kind of thing. It kind of loses like its sense of reality in a way. And I think we're going to be losing that quite a bit with season three. Some of the armor permutations I've seen for the Chimera slash Firewall core, that's something like straight out of Halo 5, like some weird looking stuff. Even with the SPI, aka the Mirage core that's coming with season three, that stuff looks pretty well interesting to say the least. Now there are more traditional options out there, which is always good. That was the biggest issue when it came to the previous Halos of 4 and 5 was that it felt like you were kind of forced into like this really weird kind of ultra sci-fi action adventure kind of style where it loses that grounded military style that we loved from the original games. Some of the codings that we have are pretty standard just colors but some of them have some pretty intricate patterns which look pretty unique some of them look pretty wild as well when it comes to really intricate artistic almost in a way type of coatings which uh, some of them actually look really awesome but some of them look rather questionable if you take a look at say like the warhog skin that we saw within the season three trailer it was like this weird like purple zebra pattern with like a weird red and gray thing i don't know i wasn't exactly vibing with it i think people who would want to choose that kind of stuff are the kind of people who would want to like break the game in a way when it comes to the customization and the immersion that we have. Now, I'm not saying that I play the multiplayer for an immersive experience. I play the campaign for that. So I'm okay with the game going a little extra in the multiplayer side of things when it comes to customization, but some stuff just honestly just doesn't look good to me or just flat out just 
doesn't look like Halo. And oftentimes when it comes to the more, say, obnoxious style of customization, that becomes really popular because people just kind of want to stand out and just look ridiculous. And you know what? More power to them. But this is one of the things I was ultimately afraid of with a free to play style Halo game, because we've seen this with other games out there as well. For example, with Modern Warfare 2019, where they first said we're going to stick to grounded military style customization. And then later on, you had Jigsaw come into the game and then you had people with a full on pink anime waifu truck going around war zones running over people. And it seems like already with the second year of Halo Infinite being out, we're kind of starting to dip a toe into that really weird little extra type of customization. One thing I really want to point out, though, is that it seems like a lot of the extra customization that I'm talking about that's really flashy and kind of over the top that doesn't really look to be part of the battle pass. So most likely a lot of that customization is going to be paywalled with the store for the microtransaction side of things, which again kind of would make sense as you probably have much more standard customization within the battle pass and then if you want people to kind of look crazy well then you make them kind of dip a little bit into their wallet to see what they can really get out of them so that's definitely one way to kind of limit the amount of like absurd customization that's going to be available with season three but then that customization that's paywalled is well still going to be in the game it might even be tied to the fracture core pass for the chimera slash firewall core that's going to be coming in with season three so even though it might be limited with that paywall it's still going to be in the game you're still going to see it and it's not going to be, able to be feeling much like a halo game i mean this game might start looking more like splitgate or late stage call of duty when it comes to their customization i mean hey it's ultimately up to the players whatever sells well well 343 is going to do more of it for example we saw the customization of the cat arrows come into the game and people were already upset about that and that's just a little bit of geometry which honestly kind of fits into the art style I mean, I even bought into it. That was more just peer pressure from Twitch chat, though. But if you didn't like the fact that there were cat ears that were an option for customization within Halo Infinite, well, you might be a little upset with the customization options within Season 3. Now, 343 usually does a live stream showcasing the battle pass and other parts that are coming with Season 3, usually a week before the release of the game, which we will certainly cover on the channel here. We'll get a better look at what's going to be available for that customization. So am I saying that the customization that's available in Season 3 for Halo Infinite is terrible and awful and 343 should be ashamed of themselves absolutely not i think a lot of the stuff that's in there is actually some pretty good stuff i think we see a lot of potential of what 343 can do now with the customization since they spent so much time trying to fix up the engine to make it so they can do some cool stuff though i do want to point out that this might be the start of that slippery slope that people always talk about when it comes to free-to-play customization that usually the stuff that gets really popular and, and a lot of people buy into is usually the stuff that's a little bit more immersion breaking a little more wacky a little more weird just to kind of be like that weirdo on the back field but if you want an in-depth look at the trailer that we discussed for season three well check out this video right here so thank you much for watching catch you on the next one peace out